Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Mr. Sunito, and we're going to do some math today. We're just about ready to start chapter 11 in the math book, but um, we got a couple things we're going to do today. But, uh, yeah, we're going to do some different things today. Tomorrow we will start in the math book. Today, we're going to start with the Brain Pop Junior video on three-dimensional shapes, and then I'm going to teach you more about the shapes, including, wait for it, wait for it, oh, wait, hold on, wait, I think I got it, let's, <laughs> wait for it, <laughs> including how to draw all the three-dimensional shapes. Yeah, so let's watch the video and then come on back. Wow, Moby, that looks ah, ah. Sorry, Moby. Uh, er, I think you dropped this. What is a cube? A cube is a solid shape. It has six faces or flat sides. The faces on a cube are all squares. There are 12 edges where the faces meet. And there are eight vertices, or corners. Plenty of things are shaped like cubes. Like an ice cube, a number cube, or a box of tissues. What is a rectangular prism? Just like a cube, a rectangular prism has 12 edges and eight corners or vertices. You're right, Moby. These solid shapes both have six faces. But most faces of a rectangular prism are shaped like rectangles. And all the faces on a cube are squares. Tons of things are shaped like rectangular prisms like a juice box, radio, and even a thin piece of paper. Some buildings are shaped like rectangular prisms too. What is a pyramid? This pyramid has eight edges and five vertices or corners. There are five faces and four of them are shaped like triangles. The base is the face on the bottom. The base of this pyramid is square. But I've definitely seen pyramids with bases that are different shapes. Hmm, I guess the sides of any pyramid are triangles, and they all meet at one vertex. When I think of pyramids, I think of the Great Pyramids of Egypt. What is a cylinder? It has no vertices and a curved surface. Two faces on a cylinder are circles. A cylinder can roll. A can of tuna, a penny, and a spool of thread are all cylinders. You know what's really cool? The curved part of a cylinder is actually a rolled up rectangle. What is a cone? A cone is a solid figure with one face, which is at its base. It's shaped like a circle. It has one point and a curved surface. A funnel? A traffic 
cone and an ice cream cone are all cones. Hmm, there's one more solid shape here. What is a sphere? A sphere has no faces, no edges, and no vertices. It's curved and round, so a sphere can roll. A ball, marble, globe, and an orange are all spheres. Sorry about the mess, Moby. Hey! All right, boys and girls. Now, for today's math lesson, you're going to need uh, a sheet of blank paper. You can use paper out of your writer's notebook with lines on it or just regular white paper. That's fine. Um, maybe a pencil. Let me see. Do I have a pencil here? I do not have a pencil. I'm going to use a marker. You can also use crayons. And that's really all you need. But you should go get those materials right now. Pause the video and come back when you are ready. Okay, you got your materials? We are going to review some three-dimensional shapes. We call them three-dimensional shapes, or sometimes we call them solid shapes. So why don't you write at the top of your paper, let's write solid shapes, and then you can also write the abbreviation three D. Okay. And we've got five shapes that we are going to learn about, and we're going to use them a lot in chapter 11. So the first shape, the first solid shape that I want to show you is this. Do you know what this is called? Do you remember it from the video? This is a sphere. Now, we're going to draw five shapes on this paper. So you don't want to make your shape too big when you do this. You don't want to make your letters too big. You want to make sure you've got room. If you run out of room, I guess you could just use the back. I'm going to try and fit them all on one page, though. Okay, so this is a sphere, and you'll notice it's round all over. Do you see any flat sides, any flat surfaces on this one? No, it's all curved. Now, the first thing we're going to do is learn how to spell it. So you can take your pencil on your paper and you can write sphere. And this is tricky. So it's S-P-H-E-R-E. -E. Sphere. And the P-H makes a F sound, like F. So it's sphere. Fear. A little tricky. But to draw it, we can draw it like this. Now just watch how I do this, and then you can pause the video and do it. Um, draw, watch me first. I'm going to draw a circle. And it does not have to be perfect. It is hard to draw a perfect circle. Okay? Then, to show that the surface is curved or round, we kind of draw a curve like that, and then the dash curve to show behind it. That would be a sphere. It doesn't have to be perfect. So pause the video and see if you can draw a sphere. Now, our second solid shape has a curved surface and it has a flat surface. What shape do you think I'm talking about? 
It's this one. This is called a cone. A cone, like an ice cream cone. The flat surface is usually the bottom. And the curved surface is the side. So let's write the word cone on our paper. C O N E. Cone. Now to draw the cone, this one's a little tricky. Again, watch and then pause the video to try it. So you can kind of do it like this. I do a big open mouth first, and then I'm going to make sure that these line up. Okay, but don't draw that in. You draw the curve like this, and then a curve like that. That would be a cone. Pause the video and try and make your cone. Okay, so we did sphere and cone. Let's do another solid shape. This is called a cylinder. Now, the interesting thing about a cylinder is it has a curved surface. See how it rolls? It's curved. And it has two flat surfaces, two sides that are flat. So we're going to write, find a, find a space on your paper. Let's write cylinder. This is a longer word. So it's... C Y L Sill in I N Dur D E R Cylinder. Now to draw the cylinder, there's a lot of parts to it. So this is what I do. Now just watch. I'm going to draw an oval on top, which is kind of like a squished circle. Step two, I'm going to draw two lines going down, one line on each side. On the bottom, I have to make sure the lines are pretty even. On the bottom, I'm going to draw a curve like this, and then to end, I can draw the curve behind it with dashes, and that would be your cylinder. Not bad. Okay, pause the video and you try it. Now we've got two more shapes. Look at this. This shape here does not have any curved surfaces. Every side is flat. We call this a rectangular prism. So this has two words that we're going to write. So take your pencil, find a spot on your paper. Rectangular, which sounds like rectangle. R-E-C-T. A N G U L A R. That is a very long word. So make sure you have a lot of space. I almost ran out of space. So rectangular means it's 
like a rectangle. And then prism, pra, pra, I, some prism, rectangular prism. And prism, you could think of the word prism um, as a box. So we have a kind of rectangular box. So now how are we going to draw this? Well, this one is definitely tricky. And let's see if I can do it. Um, and again, if yours do not look perfect, if they do not look like mine, that is fine. But to make the rectangular prism, go down a little bit on the paper. And we're going to make two lines. We're going to make this line here and then go down. So the line should be the same length, but they're not, they're parallel. They're next to each other like this, but they don't start at the same point. So this one starts a little bit lower and it ends a little bit lower. Then I connect them to make what looks like kind of a diamond. Then we're going to draw, and I'm going to take a line here, here, and here. So if you look at these three corners, I'm going to draw lines like this. And they have to be kind of the same length. And I'm going to connect those. I'm going to connect those. This is a very tricky one. So yours does not have to look like mine. Just do your best. Pause the video. Practice making a rectangular prism. Okay, now our last one. This is a special prism. It's a special kind of box. It has only flat sides. It has lots of corners. No round sides at all. But each side is a square. Each side is exactly the same. And we call this one a cube. So I've got some room down here. I'm going to write cube. C U B E cube. Now to draw the cube, it's going to be a bit like the rectangular prism, and we're going to see if I can do this. We're going to see if I can teach you how to do it. But again, it starts the same. Um, but what I do, it doesn't really start the same. That's not true. Um, I draw a square. That's the first thing that I do. Then we have to kind of draw these lines, just like I did up here. We're going to draw lines back from those three red corners, but they're going to be shorter. They're going to be like that. Draw those lines down and look, it's not perfect, but it looks more like a cube where we've got square surfaces. And here we've got a square surface, but we've also got a rectangular surface. Now I forgot to show you where you would put the dashes. So let's do the dashes, which show the other sides. I'll do them in purple. Let's see if this works. Kind of like that. It's as if you're looking into the cube. And I should have done them for the rectangular prism too, so I can show you that. Dash, dash, dash. You draw these dashes that connect all the corners, all the 
the corners. So this is not easy work, but it's fun work. And this is what we're going to be doing in Unit 11. We're going to be working with some solid shapes. And you might hear me call them 3D or three-dimensional. So um, let's review. Say sphere, cone, cylinder, rectangular prism, cube. Practice drawing these shapes, practice labeling them, and take a picture and send me what you've got in Class Dojo, okay? And then tomorrow, we will start on Chapter 11. Have a great day, boys and girls.